Zoe's hiding place. The sun extended its morning glow to a light blue bungalow in Mulberry Meadow. Zoe, called Mama, it's time for breakfast. Zoe Mouse peeked out from under her purple patchwork quilt. This is my favorite place to hide. I feel so safe and cozy. No worries here. Zoe, Mama called again. It's time for breakfast. Finally, she jumped out of bed dressed and smothered her long pink tail. Oh, sorry, and smoothed her long pink tail. Then collecting her backpack and her favorite book of fairy tales, she pattered down the hallway as quiet as a mouse to join Papa, Mama, and Baby Zack. Good morning, she beamed. Good morning, Zoe, replied Papa. Zoe hopped on her stool and started to eat her breakfast bowl of nuts and fruit. Mama noticed Zoe's fairy tale book peeking out of the backpack and said, Remember to tuck that book away when you arrive at school. Miss Minnick deserves your full attention, Zoe replied. I will, Mama. I better go. I'll see you this afternoon. With the long walk to school before her, Zoe was free to dive into her book. She read a little, then walked a little, read and walked, imagining each and every detail. She barely noticed her friend Layla joining her along the way. Layla interrupted Zoe's thoughts with her usual string of how-do-you-do's. Good morning, Zoe. What are you reading? Would you like to sit together in class? Zoe happily replied, it's my new favorite fairy tale. I'm trying to finish it by the end of the day. And yes, I'd love to sit together in class. The girls entered through the thicket to where they gathered for school. They hung their bags on some handy branches and sat down on a carpet of clover waiting for Miss Minnick to start the school day. Good morning, class, said Miss Minnick. I have a special announcement. The Mulberry Meadow Art Museum has invited us back for a visit. We will leave first thing tomorrow morning. Layla turned to Zoe and whispered, Isn't tomorrow going to be terrific? I can hardly wait. Waking up from her daydream, Zoe asked, I hardly wait for what? Didn't you hear what Miss Minnick said? We're going to the art museum tomorrow. I won't be able to think of anything else for the rest of the day. Zoe sighed. Great, but Zoe didn't feel great. On her last trip to the art museum, there was a painting that reminded her of her favorite fairy tale. She was so busy looking that she didn't notice the class leaving. When she looked up, she didn't know what to do or where to go. It felt like I was alone forever. I never wanted to go to that museum again, she thought. Walking home after school, Zoe's mind filled with worries. She tried to read her fairy tale book, but thoughts of lonely rooms and scary pictures filled her mind. As Zoe neared home, she was filled with fear and worry. Once inside, Zoe hurried past Mama and Zack. She headed straight to her bedroom to be alone under her safe purple quilt. After a few minutes, Mama ventured down the hall to check on her. Zoe peeked out from under her quilt and slowly began to share her worries with Mama. 
Mama had good listening ears. She said, Every mouse experiences worry, and I can certainly understand why you feel anxious. We do remember trouble. We imagine it could happen again. We get scared and anxious. We want to keep safe. That's how God made us. It sounds like you might want to stay home from the field trip. Zoe nodded her head yes. Mama continued, Worry wants you to believe that you are all alone and God isn't with you to protect you. But that's not true. Jesus is with you. He cares for you. I had lots of fears and worries when I was a young mouse. Your grandpa used to read to me from the great book. There is a verse in that book that says, God is your refuge, a safe place from trouble and fear. That verse is true. You can trust God to keep you safe. God kind of reminds me of my purple quilt, squeaked Zoe from under the quilt. Yes, but so much better, Mama replied. God is always with us. Another place in the great book says, I will never leave you or forsake you. You are mine. That means even though I can't see God, he is here, said Joe. Said so. Yes, said Mama. Wherever you go, Jesus is with you. I still have worries too, but I ask Jesus for help. You can't change tomorrow by worrying but you can tell Jesus your worries. Turn each fear into a prayer. He will help you. And don't forget how important it is to listen carefully to the people in charge of keeping you safe. Some of your worry might be helped if you put on your listening ears when Miss Minnick is talking. The next day, Zoe awoke. During the night, scary thoughts had filled her mind, but Zoe remembered her talk with her mom. Jesus is with me. Jesus wants to help. Zoe prayed, Jesus, I know I have trouble listening and paying attention. I am worried that today at the museum I will not listen and get lost. I'm so afraid. Please help me. As Zoe was leaving for school, Papa gave her a slip of paper with words from the great book. She tucked the verse in her pocket. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious. Love, Papa. Papa gave her a kiss and reminded her, pull it out and read it when you feel afraid. On the path to school, instead of worrying, Zoe noticed how many shades of green were in God's world. And she didn't feel so alone. She knew that God was with her, and she felt his peace. Suddenly, Layla ran up, exclaiming, Off we go! I'm so excited! I could hardly sleep last night! She took Zoe's hand, and together they ran the rest of the way to the school and fell into line with the rest of the class already waiting to leave for the Mulberry Meadow Art Museum. When they arrived at the museum, Zoe took a deep breath and prayed, God, help me to pay attention. Thank you for your listening ears. Thank you for never leaving me. The great oak tree guarding the entrance to the museum invited them in. The class walked into a room that Zoe had never visited. She was enthralled. There's so much to see. In all my worry, I forgot about how much I love the art museum. Each painting was from a fairy tale. Zoe's favorite was the mural of the mouse and the elephant. 
She imagined being the brave mouse, courageously approaching the enormous elephant. Lost in the painting, Zoe didn't notice the rest of the class leaving. Suddenly, Zoe looked around. No one is here. The class is gone. I'm all alone. What should I do? Zoe remembered. She reached into her pocket and pulled out the note. The Lord is near. Zoe prayed right then and there. I'm sorry for not paying attention. I'm listening, Lord. Thank you for being near. Please help me to know what to do. Then she remembered that all she had to do was find the great oak at the beginning of the meadow. She walked out of the gallery and saw the great oak and her class in the distance. As she ran toward them, she heard her friends laughing and talking as they ate lunch under the trees. Miss Minnick saw her and exclaimed, So, there you are. I am so glad to see you. I must do a better job keeping you with the class. Are you okay, my dear? Zoe replied, Yes, I am. Thank you. I'm so sorry for not following you in the class. I am learning to have listening ears. And, Miss Minnick, I am more than okay. I'm learning a lot on this field trip. The end.